It's really nothing to talk about, yo. If you think there is, I mean, go ahead and talk. Say what you gotta say. What do you mean, how do I feel about this? Well, I'm not talking about it because you, you, you tell me the other night that you go hang out with your friends at the bar and you end up kissing some random dude. So, I mean... I'm mad at you for that. Look, we've only we've only been dating for like a month. Um so I mean if you could even call it dating, right? We kinda just started seeing each other and we haven't had any official words about how you feel or how you know what I mean? Like so there's only so much I can feel about this, you know? But... I am speaking how I feel. Like, you saying speak how I feel? I, I am speaking how I feel. How am I supposed to feel about it, though? Like, am I jealous? No, I mean, I don't know, maybe a little bit, but whatever, I mean, you said that you were going to go kick it with your family, you know, and I talked to you that night. You know, I'm hoping you have a good night. And then immediately after that, you go tonguing down some dude that you just met at the bar. So. Yeah, okay, fine. You didn't just meet him. You talked to him for an hour. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> this shit doesn't like. Right. Right. Yeah, and I just said that, like, it's not like we're uh, officially dating. We're definitely not together, you know, a couple. So you can do whatever you want, yo. You feel free to do anything you want to do. And, I mean, does it make me look at you different? A little bit. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, which is the only thing I know how to be. Yeah, a little bit. But only because I just, you just got done telling me how much you like me, you know? And I'm telling you that I like you too, you know? And like, it just kind of felt like we was just starting to explore something between us. And then that, you know, so, and then now you're telling me that like, you're feeling seriously about me and like, <sighs> you aren't, thinking about other dudes right now or whatever you can see how that's like a very confusing train of uh, events right and like how I might find your words a bit hard to believe here yeah well it's not that I'm jealous is that 
I don't know. It's that you are, you told me, you're telling me, you know what I mean, that you feel certain ways. And then you go, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've, yeah, I understand you were drunk and I understand that. You didn't, what does that mean? You didn't mean to, like, how can I even, <laughs> you didn't mean to kiss the guy? Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you weren't expecting to do that and then got caught up in the moment. I get it. What? What do you want from me, though? Because, like, it's hard for me to get on a level with you where you, like, want me to be. I don't know if you want me to be, but I assume you want me to be more serious about it or, like, take you a little more serious. But that's, like, pretty hard to do in this scenario now, like. No, I no, I don't. I am not the kind of person who puts themselves out there easily. I'm not the kind of person who trusts easily or like catches feelings very easily, you know? So the fact that I tell you that I am feeling you, you know, some kind of way, after only a month of talking to you and like, whatever. What do you mean don't say whatever? Like, <laughs> what are you expecting me to say? Like, how are you, how are you expecting me to feel? How would you feel? In this scenario. Yeah. I mean. I said I wasn't jealous. Because I'm not. But like. Also. It's off putting. And it's like. I don't believe what you're saying now. Because. Before. It was just. You know. We're seeing each other. You know. And. It's cool. You know. there There is no obligation of loyalty between the two of us so you kissing a random dude wasn't that big of a deal or at least I was able to just like kind of brush that off and like put in my own mind us on a more just kicking it kind of level you know, and not like anything potentially serious. But now you're asking me to, well, you're not asking me, but you're telling me that you're viewing me in a more serious potential light. And it's fucking confusing. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? Like, And you actually told me that you weren't sorry. So, like, fuck them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if, it, if it seems like I'm mad at you, I'm not. I'm just trying to address you as real as possible, for real. Because you you can't be expecting to like get close to me, <laughs> you know, and be doing that type of shit. Like I'm not about to just like let you in while you're, you know, leading that kind of lifestyle, which you're free to do. It's your life, your a single woman, you can do whatever you want to do. Like you're single, you're free. 
You do whatever you want to do. And I'm not tripping on you about it. But you want me to consider. Okay. Alright. <laughs> what? You want me to consider you in a more serious way. Yeah? That's essentially what you're saying, right? Okay. Look. I'm I'm going to tell you the truth. The only reason that I haven't just stopped talking to you is because for one, we're not together. You're allowed to do that type of stuff. And, but for two, because you came to me and told me about it, and I had to find out about it from one of the boys or something like that, and I respect that a lot. That's not a common thing. Most people just wouldn't have said anything at all, or maybe maybe would have even denied it or like you know lied about it if asked about it. So the fact that you came to me and told me what you did. Is a very respectable and admirable thing. And that's the only reason you're here right now. Because otherwise, you know, and for lack of better terms and not to be a dick or anything, but you, you, we would just, you'd be a plaything. Like we would just keep playing around and whatever, you know. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I do mean that. How can I say I like you? And so, I be, because I like you, but like your lifestyle right now, you just living too wild for me. <laughs> like, I understand. You feel me? Like I understand. I've you know I've done that type of stuff too. You know, hook up with randoms or whatever, you know, like as you're just having fun, you know, and just living your life. And I get it. But like, why would you do that and then come to me on some, you won't trying to be more serious kind of thing? Right. Okay. Um, right. Mm -hmm. That's true. It is true. You, you. No, you did. You did. You told me the truth. And you are like openly expressing and communicating how you feel. Mm. It's just hard for me to conceptualize, like, allowing myself to get some deep feelings for somebody leading the life that you're leading, and I can't. Honestly, I just can't get behind that. But you don't want to do that anymore. How can I believe that? How can, how, how can I trust that? And you're I'm not jealous. Okay, maybe I am a little bit. So fucking what? Like everybody you I'm everybody wanna act like just just cause like y'all are not in a committed relationship, like you can't grow no feelings for somebody or something. What do you mean I don't communicate those feelings to you well? I told you that I like you a lot. I told you that. You saying, you saying I seem hot and cold sometimes, right? And I can get that because like sometimes it's hard for a king to open up. You know what I mean? And so 
I can see how you can perceive me being sometimes hot and sometimes cold. However, it's been real from the beginning. And also, you told me that you... Yes, you... Yes, you told me that you weren't, like... Yes, I know I keep... Stopping mid sentence is because it's fucking hard to communicate. All right, I'm just like, it's not hard for me to communicate. It's just hard to communicate. Like, I don't feel about some shit like this because we're not in a relationship, and you, you know, like have made a, an impression on me. Your honesty has made an even bigger impression on me, but at the same time. You live in a lifestyle that I can't, I just can't get behind. And I find you very attractive. You're beautiful, you know, and you, you're smart and you're sexy and you're, you know, like, I'm comfortable around you and I love talking to you. All good things, right? But, same time, same token, you're kissing random guys in bars. <laughs> Actually, no, I haven't been, you know, like, I, I, I haven't been doing anything with anybody else, actually. Not that that's any of your business. <laughs> <laughs> but no I haven't and it's okay that you did that stuff like I mean I'm not like I said you're free to do whatever you want but it's just hard for me to get on the level that you're trying to get on now that I mean <sighs> yeah I like you I still like you, yeah. It's just... It's rather off-putting. You know? The idea of something like that. I feel like it was... A bigger possibility... Before... Yeah, I know you didn't fuck the guy. Like, okay, y'all didn't have sex, but... How would you honestly feel about this if it, if it was a reverse situation and then I'm telling you that I really want to see what's up with you and, like, focus on you? Would you believe me? You don't know. Well, mm, that's honest. <laughs> but at the same time, like... Bada bing. <laughs> Bada bing. There's the, there is it, there it is, right there. Right. You feel bad about it. It's understandable. And you just kept thinking about me. That's Kind of weird to hear you say you were thinking about me when you're with other people, but I don't know, man. It's fucking new generation dating and shit. It's like, I don't know. Are we date? I didn't say that we were. <laughs> I'm just saying this. This kind of thing is like very typical and and not what I had hoped for going into the situation. And like I said, it's not like a tremendous deal, but also at the same time, 
I don't know how to move forward with that. You feel really bad about it. That's fair. You just want me to think of you as somebody with some potential. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. No, it's not a deal breaker. It's not. Like I said, we're not together. And you have every right to kiss anybody you want to kiss. However, when I have so heavily expressed how much, you know, like I, I can't wait to see you when I'm not with you, you know, and like how much I like you, you would think that there's at least some potential there. And then now I'm, I'm thinking you don't see potential the same way I do and or you don't care, you know. Right, I get you were drunk. I get it. I get it. I know you were drunk. We've all done some silly shit when we were drunk. And, like, that's not even a silly thing. You wanted to kiss a dude, you kiss a dude, whatever. Cool. But asking me to take it more seriously now is, like, I don't know how to do that. How would you? First you would consider if I was being honest about it. And I did, and you were. Which, again, is why you're still here. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, I I would like to think that something could, I don't know, you know, because I'm somebody who cares strongly when I care. And I just, I don't, I don't know if you you're the same if you're the same you know and this is I guess it's not really fair of me to assume that one way or the other based on this but my point is that I cannot allow myself to get some kind of feelings for you and then you're going out kissing other dudes and I know you're saying you don't want to do that anymore. But what about when you get drunk again? You're in, a, you're in a bar. There's an attractive dude there. And he's buying you shots. And y'all drink shots. And now he's making a move to kiss you. What happens the next time it happens, yo? You're going to not. And we're not even together. Like, you're just going to. You're going to deprive yourself of what you want to do or what? Because. I'm I'm just asking. Yeah, no, I'm just being very real and just asking you how I feel. Asking you how you think and feel about the situation. I've told you how I feel. Kind of. You know what I mean. <laughs> now you tell me how you feel about it. Okay. Yeah. You really like me. And you feel really bad about it. You, you want me to? Give you a chance to prove it. Yeah. 
I'm really sorry. I'm Yeah, I mean, I do really appreciate how honest you have been with me from the beginning. And I really do recognize that it is a rare trait. I'm appreciative and uh, maybe, maybe I, maybe I could give it a chance. Maybe I could. <laughs> I don't know, though. Like I said, I mean, you'll prove it, huh? <laughs> All right. Do I believe you? I don't know. I don't know. You've been honest thus far. But. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Can you have a kid? <laughs> you kissed somebody else before you came over here? That's not funny. <laughs> it was funny to me. <laughs> Fucking did you? No, okay. I'm not a jerk for asking that. <laughs> it's a very fair question in this scenario. Yes, you can have a kiss. Been wanting to kiss you for a long time. You just... It's weird to think about somebody you really like doing stuff for other people. Maybe not for everybody, but for me, you know. And I know I didn't say that before, because for one, I'm not very like vulnerable with these kind of things. And then we haven't been talking that long, so. But yes, yes, you can have a kiss. So Kisses. Where do we go from here, y'all? You don't know. You're just gonna, what? You just want a chance to prove what you're saying? Okay. Okay. Guess we'll just see how it plays out then. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for being open and honest with me. And no, it really means a lot and It's what's allowed me to be able to still be like, you know, this kind of way with you, affectionate with you, you know, that kind of thing. You got something. No, that's just hair on your face. Beautiful face. 
you know what? I'm going to be real. You're, you probably are going to have to accept that it's become a little harder for me to express myself to you since you told me that. On do vulnerability so easy, so. But I'm learning to communicate more about like my feelings and all that type of shit. On that type of female type shit. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I know it's not female stuff, but men, we look at it kind of like that. I understand that it leads to a better life to be honest and communicate about things. So, but you're as patient as I'm probably going to have to be with you. You're going to have to be with me because... Yes, I do like it when you touch me like that. It feels really nice. Okay, okay, fine. Come on, come here. Come over here. Let's let's lay down and talk about it. Come here.